as a female, when I was coming into the game and I did the hardcore poster, mm -hmm. the famous squat, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, that was game changing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so many women were hating on me. Like, mm -hmm. I was surprised mm -hmm. because it was sexy and to me it was done, cla it, was, it wasn't tasteless. Mm -hmm. It was classy. It was cute. I was fresh faced. I was, it was, mm -hmm. oh my God. It was a beautiful piece of art. Yes, on top of being sexy. I yeah. Thank you. It was a beautiful piece of art. <laughs> well, the thing is that it. with women, it's the same thing as with some with, with some black people do. It's like you you let the ideas of others cloud you in your mind. So it's like you hear men saying what a woman's supposed to be, right. and then they see a woman that's a hundred percent themselves doing yeah. whatever they want to do, and they don't understand that concept right. because they've been brainwashed. And they right. even understand that oh, I can do this too. Right. right. I can be me. Right. And so f with that being said. I kind of went into a place like, oh my God, did I do something wrong? Because there was like activists. The backlash. Mm -hmm. Backlash. Mm -hmm. Smashing CDs, all that stuff, mm -hmm. all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But for every time they mm -hmm. did that, uh -huh. it made me millions of fans bigger. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm talking about to the point where there were other activists taken up for me. That's right. There were women that I thought that were hating on me coming in crews like, She's our voice. We right. love her. Right. Calling me a goddess and all this stuff. And I was like, whoa, mm -hmm. this is big. Mm -hmm. Like, this is bigger than me. Right. It was bigger than me. Right. And I, I said, this is, I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I, I naturally went down into that squat pose, mm -hmm. but Biggie picked that picture. Mm -hmm. And he was like, the label was like, oh, are you sure you want to? <laughs> right. I don't know. Like, we don't know if we can. Right. And he's like, trust me, this is the one. And then they was like, well, let's have a backup. He said, no, there's no backup, this is the one. So you didn't know that you were about to change the world, that you were going to have to put all, you were putting all that extra pressure on yourself to be a voice for women that couldn't be as creative as you or speak no. as well as you? No, no, never. I feel like Biggie knew. Mm. He was a visionary A&R, visionary lyricist. Oh, yeah. Sort he, of whole vision. He knew that picture was going to be big. He, I don't know if he knew it was gonna be super duper like that, cause, but because that was on every man's jail cell mm -hmm. wall that you. <laughs> yeah, you, you you have a lot of raunchy, sexy verses, but one of the raunchiest and sexiest is from How Many Licks. Oh, one of my favorites. Yes. Uh, actually, every verse on that song. Is I wasn't allowed to sing that song. <laughs> but you talk about that that poster particularly in that record, mm -hmm. and talk about you talk about how um, what the effect it had on men in prison. Yes, because. <laughs> You know, there is, I don't know if you, if you go on YouTube, you could probably pull him up, but there's a guy mm -hmm. and, you know, he doesn't, he's, he's like, you know, a regular guy and he's on the train mm -hmm. and he's being interviewed by somebody and he's talking about how deep the hardcore poster was mm -hmm. and how people were getting killed over that poster in jail. Mm -hmm. And he was serious. It was a serious, deep conversation. And I'm like, and people were getting killed over mm -hmm. this poster? Like, that's something you can't process. Right. Because it makes your mind say, Dag, this is really something historic. But, Dag, do you want people getting killed? Or yeah, like, and you? I imagine it's conflicting for you because, yeah. you, I, in my opinion, you can't take that on yourself because you're being a creative artist. That problem, men being... First of all, the prison industrial complex is so fucked up, and mm. it's, it's a money making mm. business. First oh, yeah. of all, yes. and most of the people oh, in prisons do not do you you would know, know do not belong in prison. Mm -hmm. um, There's one right now, Rodney Reed, that needs to be released. <sighs> Release mm. him. Yes, oh, give us more information he... on that because you were telling me about that oh, earlier this morning. Well, pretty much, he's in Texas. He's been in jail for 21 years for a crime he didn't commit, mm -hmm. a crime that somebody already bragged about committing. And the person came through and said, okay, this guy has bragged about committing it. The guy was in jail for raping someone. Uh, the woman was killed by rape and strangulation. And there, he's scheduled to be killed November 20th right. yeah. by injection. So there's a pro there's a petition, petition right there yeah. at www.freerodneyreed.com. Oh, yeah, we're going to pray for him. Yeah, he needs right. to come home ASAP. But on top, of, on top of just the prison shit being fucked up, people in general are repressed sexually. And men are taught that sex and relationship with women about conquering mm. how many women you can have. And so you get men, you lock men up with other men and we don't, we don't talk honestly about sex. Mm -hmm. We don't deal honestly about sex. I remember when I was coming up, like just to keep it a buck, like it, how I came up, we used to make fun of each other like, oh, you jerk off? Like that used to be taboo. <laughs> 
It's, it used to be taboo for, for black yeah. kids. White kids, it wasn't taboo for. Oh, no. For, for black, black kids, it was taboo for. So when you go, and then you got men in jail who don't have any idea what sex is, mm -hmm. any type of relationship, and then they have a relationship with this poster, but yeah. then it becomes an emotional relationship mm -hmm. that does, has nothing to do with you as a person. Yeah. It has to do with society. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, it, but your poster becomes a catalyst right. for this. And, I'm, it's and it's, it's funny that you bring that up because here's, now I speak for all black women too, because mm -hmm. this is, this I speak for black women and I say this because a lot of um, unanswered questions and when women are in abusive relationships, mm -hmm. when a lot of unanswered questions is why do you stay? Mm -hmm. Well, we were also taught to stick by mm -hmm. our man. That's right. And we were also taught that no matter what, you know, be his rock. That's right. And because of what you said, we are sensitive to that, mm -hmm. and we get that, and we understand that. Mm -hmm. So we stay to be the light mm -hmm. and hope and prayers of God coming in and doing his job mm -hmm. and helping our men, our young black men, mm -hmm. become this strong black man. That's right. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Of course, we've got to know when it's time to leave. But... Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of people are hard on these women who stay in these mm -hmm. abusive relationships, but you don't know until you're in one. Right. And then just we have we had a lot of people on the show to speak about that, like Patrice Calores from Black Lives Matter and mm -hmm. people who have been in abusive situations speaking on it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that people don't understand. And for me as a man, mm -hmm. I'm still learning as a man in my 40s. I'm still learning that women when they speak up the, the ramifications that come mm -hmm. with that yeah. whether it be you lose a job or you get yeah. killed or you get killed yeah it's or like, you get killed yeah. and most of these women have children mm -hmm. like so that's 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 i i had to really speak on that because mm -hmm. that's a hard thing to deal with and mm -hmm. as a woman i we've all been through that we've all been through that we've been there and again like i said you know Hopefully it will change where people will, will support it more and support the women who stays mm -hmm. more and you know But again, I am also here to say that the woman has to know when it's time to leave Get your foot stuck in it, call me young, go get